Let's take a look at another member of bootleg royalty, I suppose. This is another one of the Ninja Turtles knockoff classics, Tortoise Rider. <laughs> So even though there's like a million Ninja Turtles knockoffs out there, Tortoise Rider was one of the first pictures that would come up when you'd search Ninja Turtle bootleg. Well, it used to be many years ago, back when I started bootleg zones anyway, they've added just a few more Ninja Turtles bootlegs since then. And you can tell that my Tortoise Rider card has seen better days with it being ripped in the corner and the bubbles popped off. And even though I have washed this thing off, it does still have a grimy layer on it, so that's lovely. So I'm pretty sure these Tortoise Rider bootlegs were all over the place, but mine originally came from Greece. But here's the super shocking part. It was made in China. And it's number 8886B. I do know of two other similar Ninja Turtle knockoffs which were seemingly produced by these same bootleggers. There was also Tortoise Racer, which was a car, and then Tortoise Formula being a race car. There's also this monstrosity Mikey on a wheeled horse. I don't know if this actually fits in at all with the Tortoise Rider universe, but I thought I'd show you it anyway. All three of these were these friction-type vehicle toys with the friction-powered sparking exhaust. And at least the back of the car gives us a lot of extra info. Anyway, here's our rip-off Raph on his motorcycle. He's got some great decals on here like this turbo on the exhaust and then this T logo on the side. And in case he ever forgets who he is, he's got a big Tortoise Rider sticker on the top. And I guess if Raph ever forgets what he looks like kind of peeking over his bike, well, there's also a decal on the front of exactly that. Unfortunately, though, we've got no sticker on the back of Raph's backside. And this is the cool way for Raph to drive his bike. Whoa! And yes, Raph is removable from his bike. He could just get his hands off the handlebar there. And there you go. We've got a little knockoff turtle figurine. The tortoise rider isn't exactly great off of his bike. He's just a bit bow-legged and looks naked without his belt. He does have articulation though, though the two arms are stuck together. Same with the legs. But hey, at least for the most part, he's fully painted, so he's got that going for him. The only thing that I guess was just too much for them to bother with was Raph's wrist straps. And even though Tortoise Rider is clearly Raphael, they've got nunchuck decals on the sides of this thing. But clearly they meant this to be based on the Mirage Turtles. That's what they were going for. It's not just a screw up. So does the Tortoise Rider's friction action actually produce any sparks? Oh yeah, you betcha. Super dangerous, yeah! Pulling up my backdrop, damn you Tortoise Rider. So I guess we'll put Tortoise Rider on a smoother surface so we can test out his fire hazard action a bit better. Whoa! Look at him! Turbo! Unsafe! And if you've ever played with a cap gun, you know exactly what the smell coming off of this is kind of like right now. Ooh, tortoise Rider, you are the unsafe light of my life. Yeah! Tortoise Rider, this is not something that anyone should play with. Oh yeah! It's probably not that bad, but whatever. They don't care about safety. They're really turbo. He is Raphael, but he wishes he was Michelangelo. Who are we anyway? Yeah, Tortoise Rider. Tortoise Rider. Good thing we called them tortoises and not turtles. It's legally distinct. Actually, it's not. It's a blatant rip-off. Ah, oh, shit. Now let's watch as Tortoise Rider rides off into the sunset. And he'll set the sun on fire. He'll go higher into the background. Whoa! I might have used up all his sparks. 
think he's out. Well, at least you got to see it. Last puttering off. We're really underpowered. No! Turbo activate! Uh, yeah. He does still actually have some friction sparks left in there, but here's what happened. One of his tires came off. Damn it, tortoise rider. I will say though that since these are like rubbery tires, it is kind of good that these haven't rotted and fallen apart yet. That's um, something anyway. It is kind of funny that even though Tortoise Rider is a classic Ninja Turtle knockoff, they are kind of rare to come by, which is why I bought one with a bad condition card like that. It's just kind of like, well, I'll take what I can get, which is the Tortoise Rider motto. If they really have a motto, I don't know. But hey, at least Tortoise Rider fits perfectly right alongside your Playmates Ninja Turtles figures. If he's like some kind of baby or something. Tortoise Rider might not be extremely ridiculous or anything, but it is an interesting piece of early knockoff Ninja Turtle history. Your quality sense on this might vary a bit based on what you expect out of it. As a little friction toy, it certainly works and sparks up when you run it across the surface. The detailing is okay, not spectacular or anything. It's kind of nice that the turtle figure can come off the bike, but it certainly doesn't look all that great on its own. Six. It's a little friction vehicle toy with a knockoff Ninja Turtle slapped onto it. I wouldn't be surprised if the same knockoff company did the same thing with a few other Jack properties as well. I will say out of the three I've seen from these certain bootleggers, this is probably the best one as it does actually have a unique Ninja Turtle figure that can come off the vehicle for. This is pretty standard as far as a knockoff goes and could have fit in with all the regular licensed Turtles merch from the late 80s. Also, sticking the knockoff turtles on bikes just seems to be a regular bootleg move. One. It's kind of funny, while that the figure is Raph and the bike has nunchucks on it, the Carter loves Donatello and his three purple bandana turtles on it. No love for Leo! And some of this card art does seem to be redrawn from official stuff. I do like that somehow two Donnies are riding the bike even though there's no way two turtles could fit on the actual toy. And I guess with how dirty it is around there, all the Donnies decided they wanted foot gear. Five. Obviously the scale is too small for the regular Playmates figures and it is kind of a strange size for most things. Three. And the bootleg zones overall is five! Tortoise Rider is a bit of friction fun I suppose, but it isn't the spark that really blows me away as far as stupid bootlegs are concerned. It's just pretty okay, and that's okay. <laughs> Guys, look at my new invention! It's a mini Raphael on a motorcycle! But he's not a turtle like us, he's a tortoise! It's different! Uh, Donnie, if he's me, why the hell did you put Michelangelo's nunchucks on it? Cause it's crazy! His exhaust is also a fire hazard which produces sparks! Yeah, cool! Yo, dude, uh, j just spitballing here, but have you ever considered retirement? Ah, shell shock. Tortoise Rider is so tired. YouTube. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Yo, Sharp Hand Joe, what the hell? You aren't the loafer lunatic. Why have you been taking my name lately? Uh huh, Freddy, my bad. I've just been really tired lately and I kind of forgot who I was. Tired? We live in Dream World, man! Look, my bad. I was also a better scale for that other sketch anyway. I don't know what else to tell you, man. Uh, I kind of feel like this isn't my sketch anymore and this is supposed to be my episode. Oh, uh, should we team up and torture him or something? I don't think so. Tortoise Rider Turbo! 
Oh crap, I can't drive that well on this. Good enough. I did it! I woke up! I'm the best! Suck! I now wish you had it. Oh, what a ride.